adaptation can become uh, an emergency? Good question. Nobody really knows the frequencies. Um, certainly, as blood pressure is elevated for longer and longer, those people are, are prone to develop an emergency. But as, as far as the numbers, nobody really knows the percentage that actually develop it. Probably the most important thing that we can do, and no matter what country you're practicing in, is if you look at how to manage these emergencies, is you have to know what their mean arterial pressure is. And the guidelines really say that you don't want to drop their mean arterial pressure by more than 25% in the first couple of hours. So if they come in really high, say 250 over 150, over two to three hours, they're still going to be 220 over 110 or 220 over 120 because you don't want to drop them more than 25% over those two to three hours. I think if you look at the evidence that we have, common sense that we should be using, that if you have a patient who looks well, asymptomatic, and despite that has a really high blood pressure, if they have follow-up, and you can put them on medications, they can really go home despite whatever the number is, safely.